you know, what what does the public, um, what do you owe the public, I guess, especially workers who are concerned that they're not going to get this money? Well, like this the same posture of expression that I did in January on this when I signed the bill and read my signature related to the bill and, and, uh, and the commitment that I just made to you and reinforced today that it will get done before the end of the fiscal year. You had said you had some concerns about it then. Can you explain a little bit more? <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to, and I'm going to say res- with respect, and I appreciate, um, I appreciate um, the work you've done on this and, and the articles, and, and I think that's really important, and, um, and I thank you for that. Um, we've got a few weeks uh, to land this, and uh, I want to land it in a way that uh, works for everybody and fulfills the commitments we made, and, and that's just my responsibility. Um, and uh, I just want to leave it at that at this moment. If I okay, know. I'll move on. Oof. That reporter, I don't think, was forceful enough. Nope. I mean, they, they go, oh, Newsom was called out by a reporter. I'm like, that doesn't sound like he was called out by a reporter. That just sounds like a reporter was asking a question that seemed legitimate, but, like, she didn't, I think she could have, like, pushed him a lot more. They have a $45 billion deficit in California. It is such a huge shortfall that they have to do they're having to like take some austerity measures here they spent 24 billion dollars trying to solve homelessness over five years but then it came out according to a very damning report and the that they didn't track any of it yes like they they literally did not track whether or not any of the $24 billion that they had spent on the homeless pe- on homeless people, they didn't track whether or not it actually was helping the homeless people. They had no way to compare, were they, they getting jobs? Were they getting, like what? They, they didn't do any of it. Auditors slammed them over it. They said there was no transparency, literally no accountability. And they said that they spent billions from 2018 to 2023, $24 billion. On what? Well, they can't tell you. And in fact, during that time, homelessness increased in California. They were spending $24 billion to reduce homelessness, and they actually grew it. It grew by over 6%. Since 2013, the numbers have exploded by 53%. And in the past two years, it grew 6%. So they looked at a number of these, I guess, schemes that they were spending money on. To Like, for instance, they said that one of the plans where they were converting hotel and motel rooms into housing at the expense of the taxpayer to solve homelessness they said that the other that that was the only thing that they could actually kind of track but everything else they said they could not even evaluate it because there was no data they literally made it worse i mean they they can't judge any outcome really before or after but they do know that homelessness has increased in the past couple of years this is wild that they did this they, well, I mean, is it unsurprising, though? Is it really surprising, though? Because, like, for instance, in San Francisco, one of the programs that they had, this is wild, is they were giving money for, it was homeless vodka shots. I don't even know how to, they were giving beer and vodka to homeless alcoholics. And they said it was, it was beer, wine, and vodka shots. And they spent $5 million a year on liquor to do this. And they said that they were served by nurses. It was their managed alcohol program. And they said it was drinking in a more controlled manner. Canes, yeah. So they would either hand out, uh, I think the details are 1.7 ounces of vodka or a liqueur of some sort. Five ounces of wine, which is one glass, or 12 ounces of beer. You you all right over there, Kane? You know, for the homeless, taxpayer funded. Is this? Okay. 
so they thought they could control heroin use by just providing heroin? Well, it would be the same thing, but it's, I, and it's, uh, I don't even know when, the thing is, is they never had any kind of public hearing on this. They never took this to the taxpayers. They just decided to start spending money on it. Somebody had the grand idea in San Francisco, and this is one of the things that they were spending money on, and they just, $5 million a year. And the details of it were not widely discovered until it just accidentally came out because there was a, a guy who I guess like where he uh, ended up discovering it after he walked into the former ot- uh, a former hotel where it was happening and he said he was appalled and that he was like, I'm no doctor or, doctor or expert, but what in the world? But they're spending millions of dollars to do this. They never had any kind of public hearing for it. They never did anything for it. Nothing. So I don't know. I mean, I that's just like one of the things that they were doing. And they were under fire for it. That's like, I mean, there's like so much stuff in San Francisco. That, but there's no recovery in it. Like, that's the thing. Like, they were doing this. They were spending $5 million a year on this. But where is the recovery? That's the big question. I mean, it doesn't le- it didn't lead anybody into recovery and, and shouldn't that have been like the goal, right? You think if you're going to do something this extravagant? I mean, I it's what they spent. This guy and Gavin Newsom wants to be president someday. They can't control. They have no idea where to and so he there's just dodging questions on an audio sound by 10. This is what he this is the kind of stuff that he blamed their massive $45 billion deficit on. Listen to this spin. Uh, What we didn't anticipate is these rain bombs in December, January, February, and March, Uh, these atmospheric rivers that led to a federal declaration that led to FEMA and the IRS moving in a direction where we couldn't collect our taxes until, I believe, November 16th as opposed to April 15th. And so therein lied this blackout period that uh, beguiled all of us, the LAO, finance, economists, experts. And interestingly, I mean, who's been at the White House recently, uh, had an impact um, in terms of the IRS collections as well. It's the rain. The rain and climate change, that's... That's why they have, you know, $45 billion shortfall. It's so easy to blame everything on climate change, right? I mean, it's, you know, vague scientific theory that doesn't even have general consensus of the community. It's easy to just use it as like the catch-all for it, right? Our policies didn't work. It's climate change. We spent uh, $24 million to help the homeless. $24 billion, sorry. $24 billion over five years to help the homeless, and we didn't track any of where the money was going. And now homeless, actually, the homelessness rate increased by 6% in the state, and we have a $45 billion shortfall. Uh, Climate change made us do it. The climate change made them spend half of their budget shortfall on trying to deal with the homeless and then only to increase it by 6%. Damn climate change. Damn climate change. Telling you what, shenanigans. Climate shenanigans. I would not let this guy within... 100 yards of like a, a bank account, much less the federal treasury or anything else. 